What's up guys, my name is Joe, and today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks for making thumbnails in Photoshop. First, let's make our document. I do 1920 by 1080, 72 ppi. Next, we're going to set up our guides. If your rulers are invisible, just hit Ctrl R to bring them up. Then, drag some guides to the center. They'll snap into place. I also like to put guides around the edges by going to View, New Guide, and type 50 to put a guide 50 pixels from the edge. Then do 1870 because 1920 minus 50 is 1870. Then do the same thing for the horizontal guides. One guide at 50 and another at 1030. I'm gonna make the thumbnail for this video. The background of my thumbnail is gonna be a screenshot of Photoshop. If you're on Windows, right click the taskbar and go to taskbar settings, then toggle automatically hide the taskbar in desktop mode to hide the taskbar so the screenshot of Photoshop takes up the entire screen. Then go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and set that between five and 10. In my recent thumbnails, I have this little logo in the bottom left corner for whatever the video is about. This is a Photoshop tutorial, so we're gonna make one for Photoshop. Select the rectangle tool and make a 500 by 500 rectangle. Hit Ctrl T to free transform, change the angle to 45, then drag it to the corner you want it in. I also add a drop shadow by double clicking the rectangle layer and selecting drop shadow. I got this image of the logo from Google. Select the rectangle, click on the fill color swatch, click the color palette, use the eyedropper to select the color of the logo and click OK. Then we're gonna add a 10 pixel stroke in the color of the text from the logo. Rasterize the layer. Then select the magic wand, uncheck contiguous, select the text, right click, select layer via cut, and delete the excess. Drag and resize the text in the box. For the text, I like using a font called Evogria because it's bold and easily legible. I'm gonna make the text say thumbnail tutorial. For the color, we're gonna do a white fill with a dark blue and light blue stroke. To get this little menu that I have over here, go to window and character. Change the fill color to white. Then double click the text layer to bring up the blending options and go to stroke. Here's the settings for the first stroke. Hit the plus sign to add a second stroke and change the settings to what I have here. I also like to add a subtle bevel to the text. Lastly, I add a drop shadow. I like to make my text fill the top half of the thumbnail and I adjust the spacing so it takes up the width as well. Going back to the character menu, this is your font size. This adjusts the spacing between lines. And this adjusts the spacing between the letters. Lastly, I like to add a little word or phrase in a different font to fill up this empty space in the bottom right. The font I've been using for this is called PP Handwriting. For this one, I'm gonna put clean and professional. Then right click the other text layer, click copy layer style, right click this text layer, and click paste layer style. Finally, to export, go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy, and use the PNG24 preset. If the file size is over 2 megabytes, the max for YouTube thumbnails, use the PNG8 preset. Alright guys, that'll do it for this video. Stay tuned for part 2. 
If you enjoyed, please drop a like and consider subscribing. It really helps the channel. My name is Joe, and I'll see you in the next one.